how to add an RSVP event on Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how simple it is to add an RSVP event which is going to be a special event into your Wix website. So it is very easy and very uh, simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to Wix.com then you are going to sign in into your account until you see the site's dashboard like this one. So if you have already a website, you are going to select one of the websites that you have. If you do not have a website, please go ahead and create a new site and set it up. So right there, let's say that we have already a website. We are going to choose it by clicking on select and edit site. And from here, we're going simply to see the dashboard of that website. I'm going to uh, set up here at the website and also we are going to visit this website editor because we need the editor open to set up the uh, event right there so as you can see here we have we are on the setup we are going to click on edit site or uh, design site it doesn't matter right there see here we have only a difference of nomination right there so uh, right there as you can see on the left bar of the screen or the left side of the screen, we're going to see the list of items that we own on the website and we need an item called event in here. So basically we have a not installed or the app of the event are not installed yet. We have the booking, we have the stores, as you can see, we have the catalog, but the event the item is not selected or installed how we can do that after you have added right there at the site or edited the site and uh, the website is open right there so you are going to see the different items from it we're going to visit the add apps from here we are going to need to visit the wix app market we need the website to be uh, the website i mean editor to be opened so we can go ahead and install the app so we are going to search on the apps event and i didn't meant there but event right there and from here we are going to see wix events and tickets we're going to install this app so basically it is free to install we are going to add it to the site we're going to wait for a few seconds give it the permission and from there you are going to get a page specific for that uh, reservations and also events and tickets so it will not take a lot of time from you to install this is the first thing now as you can see we are back here to the dashboard we are going to refresh the page of that specific dashboard of the website and normally we are going to get here a event app so right there i'm going to refresh it again so we are going to see it so here it is we are going to click on events here we are going to see all the events that we have so this app or this widget will let us here create a ticket or rsvp event and publish it invite guests and promote the event and manage the guest list also track orders so we are going to click on here add event so from here we are going to select one of the two types that we have even it is a ticketed event, you're going to create a ticket for it or an RSVP event. So we're going to collect the RSVPs, set a wait list, perfect for weddings, private events, and parties. Obviously, we are going to select here the second choice. And there we are going to name the event. So we are going to give it a name. So in this one, I'm going to create an event such as here. Let's say that we are going to set up here uh, Jack's party, like that. Just an example. Uh, for example, lecture party. I don't know. So you can go ahead and set up here a short teaser. You can add a category right there. So I'm going to set up here, uh, for example, lecture. Add this category and confirm it. For example, you can add more categories here for the event image. If you have a poster or right there, a teaser Im image, you can go ahead and select one. Also 
put it right there so i'm going to add this just an example to let you see how we can uh, see the image event right there of the event i meant here we have the date and time so either you are going to set up as single event recurring event or to be decided so i'm going to set it up here as a single event we're going to store set up a start date and start time end date and end time so for example we are going to set it on november the 23th which is tomorrow and for the start time we are going to set it as 5 p.m the end date is going to be the same day and the end time i'm going to set it as uh, let's say here 10 30 p.m like that so the time zone you are going to set it up here the display you can go ahead and show the event and end uh, or the the time right there you can go ahead and show the time zone so people will not be confused right there you can go ahead and either set up the location as a physical location an online location or to be decided this is not important for us for example here you are going to set up the a physical location you can go ahead and set up here for example a location New York I'm going to set up here uh, right there like that boom you can go ahead and set up the location on the map so here you're going to set up the description about the event you can add some images add some galleries files videos set up a, for example a TikTok video Instagram posts and whatever you want for this specific area when you finish that you are going to click on create draft our draft is created and then we are going to get the uh, more options to publish it or set up the settings of it for example you can review the settings uh, here we are going to see the settings of it so here we have fields policies you are not you are going to add some policies if not here you have the receive email alerts uh, that is going to be here uh, mandatory for some via right there users we have here the features the promotions and also the guests uh, you can go ahead and manage the guest list from here the promotion you can send out the invitation create link to in bio to feature uh, the event and publish it also you can set it on and get it found on google when you finish you are going to click on publish and here we have published our event you can promote it or let it here a, a for later date so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one